Hey the Woodsuit family, it's Ryan here. We're only a couple weeks away from Christmas and it's got me in prioritization mode. We've been practicing cooking because we're going to be hosting Christmas here for the family. We've been cleaning, decorating, and that means that I'm not going to get to my office until the Christmas break. Jokes about my messy office aside, I do want to talk about this concept of adulting for a moment because as we've been preparing and cleaning and setting up the house and decorating, I've noticed that the idea of turning something from a house to a home really only comes about with that intentional forethought that you have to do these little things in order to really bring about that cozy feeling. Take Christmas for example. It really wasn't until I'd say my late 20s when, well, my girlfriend now wife and I started to make decisions in terms of how we wanted to intentionally spend our time together at Christmas. What kinds of things did we want to do? What kinds of feelings did we want to invoke? It wasn't until, you know, you start decorating the house and putting up the Christmas lights and, you know, buying the eggnog and, you know, putting out all those interesting decorations. I, I love German Christmas smokers, for example. I didn't really feel the Christmas spirit until I started intentionally making those decisions and creating a Christmas experience for myself. Or on the topic of turning a house into a home. So as we're preparing to host Christmas, we decided, well, we've lived here for a year. It's time for us to hang stuff up on the wall. We kind of held off on that. I would say I was mostly holding off on that because I was very insecure with my skills and ability to hang something on the wall and not have it fall off. One weekend, my wife and I went through and we were hanging up pictures, you know, both upstairs and downstairs, large paintings, smaller portraits, a large mirror, uh, a, a shelf for the front in order to hang our jackets off of. Not only did I get a sense of satisfaction with it, but I started to look around the house and I realized that it was starting to feel more homey. It was starting to feel more like this is my home that I'm starting to make it. I mean, really, the only difference is, is instead of stacking my stuff on furniture, and basically that's all it is up until that point is, you know, I put furniture down and then I put stuff on top of it and you look around the room and everything is basically sitting on the floor arranged in artful ways. But when you start to hang stuff on the wall, it's not just stuff that's stacked on the floor. It's, you know, stuff that's a fix there, it's eye level, it's it's on its own, it, it doesn't have to be there, it's not utility, it's a decision that you make about personalizing your house. You know, when I finally got the stuff up on the walls and I started to appreciate it and I started to customize it in my own little way, it really did start to shift away from this is just a house that has my stuff to this is a home that is a reflection of my wife and I. And I thought that was a really cool kind of next evolution in the adulting game. I'm not sure if everyone shares this experience, but if you know what I'm talking about, if you've ever felt it in terms of cultivating the Christmas spirit or turning your space into your home rather than just the place that you stay, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to know what you have to say. I have one more video before the end of the year, but this is my last video before the holidays. And so I wanted to wish you a happy, safe, merry Festivus, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's a wonderful season. I hope you get lots of time with family or lots of time to recharge. I know I'm certainly looking forward to it. And don't forget, stay awesome.